Hey, hello! Welcome back to Marta from Sparta. In this video, I will show you how to upscale old denim jacket into fabulous trendy look. This DIY is super simple, no sewing required, just fabric glue and scissors. I recently got obsessed with this four sleeve jean jackets. I think they are fabulous addition to anyone's fall and winter closet. Unfortunately, these designer jackets I looked at are gorgeous but out of my budget, so I decided to make my own. There is so many fantastic options, starting with a leather jacket with a full sleeves to traditional cut denim jacket with a full sleeves, or something super fun like a crop denim jacket with a full sleeves. So when I look at my closet, I decided that the best fit and addition to my closet, it will be traditional denim cut jacket with the four sleeves. For this DIY, you obviously need a denim jacket. I purchased mine in the thrift store with a missing button for $7. Um, I purchased my fox fur in Joann's for $12. I chose purple and white. Uh, sharp scissors, sewing pins, and fabric glue. You can use any glue you want. My favorite one is liquid stitch and fabric fusion. During the visit in a fabric store, I got a tip how to cut a four. Apparently, the best way is to rip it to avoid mess and have nice fuzzy edges. I cut two rectangle pieces which are length of the sleeve. I lined my sleeve perfectly, aligned with the folded side of my fabric and then I approach pinning. After I pinned my sleeve to the fabric and made sure everything is aligned perfectly, I was ready to cut shape of my sleeve. Even though ripping method seemed to give best results, I personally found it very challenging to perfectly rip along lines when I practiced on the test piece. So scissors seems to be best option to me even though it's a little bit messier than everything. I really, really like designer's look with the exposed denim cuffs, so I did cut my fabric short enough to also leave my cuffs exposed, but also have access to the sleeve button. Because I decided to use scissors instead of ripping, it was kind of messy, so I was vacuuming flying pieces of fur as I go. Um, also, I want to mention that I gave myself extra one inch of forgiveness when I was cutting the fabric. Uh, once I was done with cutting shape of the first sleeve, I vacuumed my working space as well as edges of the fur from loose pieces. Next, I unpinned my fabric and traced shape of it on another rectangle piece of box four for a second sleeve and I cut out the sleeve number two. If you have denim jacket laying around, it will be perfect for this DIY. My jackets are more fitted and since I am planning to wear it during the fall and winter season, I would like my jacket to be more oversized, 
This way I can layer it with the bulky sweaters. I took a trip to the Goodwill store and found perfect denim jacket for $7 in size large and perfect amount of room to layer it with the bulky sweaters. I lined up my fur with the first sleeve and started process of pinning together. Because it's no sewing but stitch glue method, I am recommending not rushing through this part of process and making sure that everything is pinned perfectly. Please spend extra minute to make sure everything is aligned perfectly and you are happy how it looks like before you're gonna start glowing. I approached to rip my fur since it was perfectly straight line, but at some point it became very challenging, so I decided to finish up using scissors. I have to admit that I definitely prefer ripping method because I like the edge of the fur better after ripping, but I think in this case it's very challenging to follow the line. After I finish all the ripping and cutting, I vacuum my workspace and fabric again. I wanted to make sure that there is no loose pieces at the edge of the fabric before I'm gonna start gluing. I also made sure again that I like the edges and that they are perfectly aligned with the denim jacket seams. Once I was happy with how everything looks like and it was perfectly aligned, I decided to move my pins one inch away from the edge. This way I had a little bit room to fold the fabric and apply the glue. My first choice of fabric glue was Fusion. Unfortunately, I didn't check container and the glue dried up so I was not able to squeeze it out from the tube. So I decided to use it my backup option, which was liquid stitch. I love this glue as well, and it worked perfectly for this project. I only glued along the edges. I applied glue on denim jacket and pressed firmly to make sure that both fabrics are in contact. Please don't forget to glue top of the shoulders. I am not showing this part on the video as I don't want this video to be unnecessary long. I did not glue part of the sleeve around the cuff though. I didn't think it's necessary and I wanted to leave it as is, but I did fry the edges of the fur to blend it in. This step is completely optional. In my case, it was necessary since I purchased this jacket from the thrift store with missing buttons already. After glue dried next day, I removed the old buttons and I replaced them with something which I already own. I used the pliers, which I found in the garage. It wasn't easy task but I was able to remove them all without damaging jacket. And voila! This is finished upscale denim jacket. At the end, I trimmed some uneven edges and total cost of this project, in my case, it was $26. I spent $7 in thrift store on denim jacket I purchased a glue for $7 and a fox 4 inch ones for $12. If you already have a jacket, your budget is going to be even lower. I decided to make a second jacket with a white sleeves and I really really love that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe 
so you won't miss my future fun upscaling DIYs on the budget. Leave me a comment as well. I would love to hear from you and your feedback. Enjoy your day!